Okay, in these problems, we're combining like terms, and they'll ask us to simplify each expression. And my basic strategy is to recognize that multiplication, of course, comes first, and that creates these terms here like 4v and individual numbers themselves are terms and so are variables and the reason I do this is because I can now identify all of the terms and rewrite everything in terms of addition so 4v minus 7 and think of it as 4v plus negative 7 and you'll see why I do this in a moment minus 10 becomes what? well it's plus negative 10 and then plus v is just plus v now, what this allows you to do is keep track of the positive or negative value of each term. Um, because here, often students will see minus 10, but think of it as 10 or minus 7, and they're not sure if that's a minus 7 or is that is 4v negative or what. But, but here, when you write everything and separate each term with addition, you can see that um, some terms are negative, like 7 and 10, and some are positive, like 4v and v. And now you apply the commutative property and associative property to rearrange the order. You can do this mentally or by writing it down, of course. And then you group how you want. So I want to do 4v plus v. And then I'm going to add negative 7 plus negative 10. So this is kind of the mental process I apply when I'm doing this. And now I have my answer. This would be 5v right, 4v and v, and then negative 7 plus negative 10 is negative 17, right, 5v plus negative 17, and then I would just write this in terms of subtraction if I have a negative. So 5v minus 17 would be my answer. And you, you might come up with trickier ones where there's lots of negatives. So say we have minus 2ab, right, plus 7 minus a minus two, minus Let's do plus, well, no, let's do um, minus b, minus 3ab, something like this here where there's more terms and different types of variables to keep track of. And then maybe there'd be some others like, I don't know, negative 10. Let's do that. So here, apply the same strategy. Think of everything in terms of addition. So negative 10, okay, we start with that. Then we add negative 2ab, then we add 7, and then we add well, it's negative a, so we add negative a. Negative b, so we add negative b. And negative 3ab becomes plus negative 3ab. And now, I want to group like terms. So like terms could be, like before, which is the same variable, or the variable powers match, like in the earlier example here, if it was 4v squared. The fact that v is squared, I couldn't have added it to v because it's not squared, but if it was squared, then it'd be okay, right? You wanna make sure your variables have the same power. Furthermore, if you have something like a times b, you can't add that with a or b, but only with a times b, because we don't know what that product represents on what scale. So here I rearrange negative two ab plus this term over here, negative three ab, right? Those are like terms, a times b. And then variables usually come next, plus minus a has no other like terms, plus minus b is all alone, and then plus 7 and plus negative 10. All right, and then it's one last step. Here we can just add the coefficients, like before. Once you have the like variables, it becomes negative 5ab. Then it's minus a instead of plus negative a, minus b, and then minus 3, because 7 plus negative 10 is negative 3. Instead of adding it, you probably would use subtraction. It's a pretty standard result. All right, hope this gets you ready for the activity. Thanks.